Ah, today is November 2nd. It is a Tuesday and I'm still not planned out my week. Uh, we're a couple days late, but I am needing to get my life organized in my journal. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for me to take you guys along with me and show you exactly how I set up a week in my journal and how I get organized, as well as how I set up my daily logs since I don't really do a weekly spread, I like to plan day to day. So before I get into it, I'll quickly go over some supplies I'm gonna be using for my weekly planning. Obviously, gotta have the journal. This is my journal. I also have some writing utensils. I have my pen. This is a Muji 0.5 retractable pen. If you saw my video last week, you would know that I have eight of these waiting to be used. So that's why I use this guy. And I also have a pencil and eraser because I like to do some things in pencil instead of pen because it's just way less stressful and easier to clean up if my lines are not straight. I'm also gonna be using this ink. This is the Versamagic Midnight Black Chalk Ink. This is what I'm gonna be doing my stamping with, which is over here. I'm gonna be using these stamps. These are from Amazon. And, oh, I forgot something. One minute. I found it. I'm also gonna be using a ruler. So this is the one I like to use. And with this ruler, I'm going to start the first step of my weekly planning process, which is gonna be setting up my weekly spread. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So the way that I do my planning is I do set up a weekly spread, if you will, on the left-hand side, but then the rest of it is pretty much daily logs. So pretty much what this is that I'm making right now is called an Alistair Method weekly list. It's also usually referred to the way I journal weekly is referred to as the rolling weekly method or the rolling daily method. So pretty much what I'm setting up now on the left hand page is the kind of weekly task list that is I guess the first kind of part of the rolling weekly. And then the right hand page is my daily logs. So that's kind of the rolling part of the rolling weekly because they kind of, I guess, roll out or I create them as the week goes by. So what I just did here is my title. If you can see here, I like to start all of my weeks off like this. I draw two lines just so I have a section for the header at the top and I stamp out the week and the week number just because I find that time is a bit of a construct for me. So having any way to kind of see where we are in the year and how time is passing really helps me out. So I've zoomed you in because the next thing I'm getting to for my kind of weekly task list is I guess the last part of the setup. It's really, really easy and that's why I like it. And essentially I'm going in and I'm making an Alistair method list. So for this list, I put a bullet on the far left side, and then I write Monday in a box, Tuesday in a box, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this is what an Alistair method list looks like. And this is just great because it allows you to schedule tasks in advance so you have a bit of structure going into your week which is something i really like because while i do like the flexibility of the daily log i do like to have a bit of a plan going into every week so that i know what i'm doing each day roughly so i'm not just like making it up as i go because that just stresses me out so that is the full kind of i guess spread making part of this step done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out my weekly task list. So I tend to reference a couple areas for this. The first place I'm going to flip to is my monthly task list, which I have over here. And this has a bunch of things that I've written down that I want to do the entire month. This is exactly like my weekly task list. It's an Alistair method one as well. It's just that instead of Monday through Sunday as my little columns, I have the first day of each week so that I can schedule my tasks and organize them that way. 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look through all of these and I'm gonna migrate or move and write down things I need to do here since this is first week of November. And I'll also look at my to-do list items that don't have a day associated and see if there's any of them that I wanna work on this week. Something I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna look on my left side here, which is my habits or my rituals for the week and write down any of these in my weekly task list that I want kind of a reminder for myself to do. Alright, so these are a couple of the monthly tasks I've written down so far. So let me give you a nice look at that. For some of these, I know specific days I want to do them. Like I always like to do my laundry on Saturday. So I put that task bullet on the Saturday in my list. Typically, I would update my finance spreadsheets on Monday. But after putting that bullet in, I realized that I didn't do it yesterday <laughs> and it's actually Tuesday so I'm gonna do it today so I've just moved that guy to there some of these I don't know when I'm gonna do them this week I don't need a specific day so that's why they go in here these are kind of the non day specific things and for something like picking up an order right now I don't know when I'm gonna pick that up but once I get an email saying that it's ready then I can go in and put a task bullet on the day I'm gonna actually do it. So that's kind of a nice thing about this list. You can kind of update when you're gonna do something later in the week if you want to. So I find this generally very accurate, which is pretty awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is just break down one of my bigger kind of project tasks. Every week I put in my monthly to-do list that I have to make a video, but obviously making a video is not just one task, it's actually multiple tasks. So I thought I'd show you what I do for that. So in the actual task list, it just says new video here, but I'm gonna go in and break that up. So I know that I'm filming the video Tuesday and oops, I just uh, missed that. That's okay. <laughs> I'll put something else there. So I know that I'm going to edit it these days. So I'll write that here. I know I'm gonna film here. And I know I usually publish on Friday, so I'm going to put my publishing task on Friday. So I only really break up tasks into multiple task points in my weekly if it's something big like a video where I don't need to get that granular in my monthly, but I do during the week. So that's kind of what that looks like. Also, the good thing about this list, which I'll show you with this thing I have to do, is you can put tasks that you need to do multiple days in a row in, like this. So, because I'm looking for work right now and applying to jobs, that's something I like to do most days. So I can just put work research and have that scheduled in Monday to Friday and then that's done, which is really nice because then I'm not having to make five to-do list items for the same thing. Cause that just takes up space. We don't need that. <laughs> Similar to my work to-do list, I'm also gonna go in now and write down any of my rituals that I wanna kind of remind myself to do. Um, I don't write them down as like a separate habit or a separate signifier because in my mind, it's something else that I want to do. So it's kind of similar in that sense, I guess. And then for habits like reading, where I know I want to do it maybe three days of the week, I'm going to put in the specific days I want to do it just so that I have a bit of a direction to go in because I find that just helps me be more accountable. All right, so step one, which is migrating things from my monthly task list. Oh, I guess it's step two, migrating things from my monthly task list. That is done. 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to migrate things from my task list last week that I didn't get done, but I want to do this week. And if there are items that I don't want to do this week, I'll just put them in my monthly task list and reschedule them for another week. So this is my task list from last week. This, first of all, is not updated. So the first thing I'm going to do is update that so that it's accurate because that will just make my life easier when I'm transferring stuff. And I'm just gonna go in and update this so I can better see what I have done and haven't done so I can migrate the things that I need to do. All right, so I've gone through and looked at all the things I need to do. And what I've done is for the things that I want to migrate or move to next week, I've just put an arrow in. And after I've written down the things I've migrated from last week, now I'm gonna move on to the next thing. So, you know, we've looked at the month, what we need to do this month, moved over those things. What we didn't get to last week, moved over those things. And now the last thing I do is I look at my weekly calendar on my phone here um, for this week. And I look at the events going on and I see if there's any tasks that I want to do just to prep for those events or stuff like that. So one thing, for example, that I was able to see based on my calendar is we have a birthday dinner for one of our family members on the Friday and I am in charge of making the double baked potatoes. So on the Friday, I'm gonna do my task bullet and write out, I gotta make the double baked potatoes because uh, <laughs> they do take a while. So it's just good to know so that I know that I have to carve time out of my schedule for that on Friday. All right, uh, is that everything? Usually if I can't think of anything else and I've kind of checked all my bases, I'll just move on to my daily log and just update the list as things come to me. So moving on to the daily log, what I do for this guy is I make a title which is the day or the date, if you will. <laughs> and then I just go in and rapid log the day. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So because I'm doing this on Tuesday, this is an example of what my Monday would have looked like. And I probably would have just written all this stuff down last night when I had gotten home from the groomer because my dog gets groomed very far away in Coburg. So it is a bit of a day trip to go there and back. So I would have probably written this down and then gone in and, you know, marked down what I did, what I did not do. I did that, I did that. This is a great example. So. One thing I wanted to do yesterday but didn't do is I didn't put away my Spider-Man costume in the basement, which Halloween is over. So we need to get on that. So I'm gonna do a little migration arrow and I'm gonna rewrite that task today. Now, some people I think don't enjoy rewriting tasks because they find it annoying. And I agree, I find it very annoying. However, if I don't, annoy myself into doing something, it <laughs> I will tend to procrastinate. So I find forcing myself to rewrite something really motivates me to do it because I don't wanna have to rewrite it again. So I'll just kind of convince myself to do it and get it done with 
so I don't need to keep writing out that task. So I actually find rewriting tasks to be a really good motivator for me and it really helps me kind of avoid putting things off, but you do you with that one. All right, and that is what my Tuesday daily log looks like. So I will just add in tasks, notes, events, all in one. It doesn't really um, bother me having things kind of mushed together in a different order. I really don't mind. So this kind of is what I do and I like it this way. And something I'll do now that I have kind of Monday done and I'm prepping for Tuesday is I'm gonna go back into my weekly list and mark down the things that were completed Monday just so that this is accurate. I don't do this every day, although it's probably best if you do just because then it'll make your life easier, but not every day is like a perfect day. So not every day, you know, things get done. So yeah, yesterday, <laughs> that was the only thing we got done. So now it's updated. Um, and I don't think I have anything else to do. I think I'm pretty much done here. So there you go. That is how I plan my week. I think it's pretty simple. I hope that it didn't disappoint you with how simple and kind of regular it is, but this is what works for me. It's pretty easy to set up and very straightforward, but that is what I need every week when I'm coming into a fresh new week and having no idea what the heck I'm supposed to do and this kind of structure really helps me kind of get on my feet and find a direction. So yeah, that is how I plan my week. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this kind of realistic look at how I journal. I do this, I guess the most in my journal, these weeklies and daily logs, and this keeps me really organized. And I hope that maybe you got some ideas through this of how you can be organized and organize your week so that it does whatever it needs to do to best serve you. So yeah, I think that's all for me today. I will catch you guys in the next video.